Good day, everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about trigonometric functions of any angle, which is 6.4 or chapter 6.4 in Algebra 2 lesson. So we have to evaluate trigonometric functions of any angle, find the reference angle, and also try to evaluate functions of real we have numbers. Let's try to do some introductions or try to review some of the things that we have studied and discussed already. So first thing we will do is find or we will try to define what is trigonometric function of any angle. So let theta or theta be an angle in standard position with x and y values, a point on the terminal side of theta and r will be the radius right or the hypotenuse which gives us square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to or is not equal to zero. So sine theta, sine theta is equal to opposite over the j or the hypotenuse, which is we have y here is sine and x is cosine. So therefore you will have now as opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so you remember we had the Sokotoa. So therefore we have now sine is equals to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is equals to adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is equals to we have opposite over the adjacent side, where x is not equal to zero because if the denominator is equal to zero, therefore the solution is undefined. So cotangent is reciprocal of tangent, second is reciprocal of cosine, and then cosecant is reciprocal of sine. So therefore, you will have now r over y for second, r over x for cotangent, the reciprocal of tangent, which is y over x. So therefore, we will get x over y. Okay, so for example here, so let's try to evaluate we have trigonometric functions. Find sine, cosine, and tangent. Given that negative 3 and or the point is negative 3 and 4 where negative 3 is the value of x and where positive 4 is the value of y. So we'll try to find what is r. r is the hypotenuse. We go back to Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem it states as r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. So therefore our x is negative 3, our y is equal to positive 4. So then we will have now negative 3 squared plus 4 4 squared which is 9 and plus we have 16 4 times 4 is 16 therefore we will get square root of 25 where is square root of 25 is equal to 5 okay so we have now the value of r which is equals to 5 now we can solve for sine cosine and tangent so sine is equals to opposite over the hypotenuse which is the opposite side okay the opposite side there is equals to Four, and then our radius or our r is equals to 5. Next for cosine adjacent over we have the r which is the hypotenuse therefore you will have now as x is equals to negative we have 3 and 5 is for our hypotenuse and then for tangent tangent is equals to sine over cos which also gives us equal to opposite over the adjacent side therefore you will get now equals to y over x okay y over x will have now negative 4 okay negative 4 over 3 so what are the signs so we'll go back to some of the discussions and lessons that i gave already so for quantity number one everything is positive sine cosine and tangent is positive for quadrant number two quadrant number two we have negative for cosine, therefore we have sine is positive and then tangent will become negative as well. For quadrant number three, we will have both sine and cosine is negative and also we have, if you will divide now sine over cos, that will give us positive for tangent. And for quadrant number four, we will have sine is equals to negative, cosine is equals to positive, so therefore the the tangent there will become negative because negative becomes negative divided by positive is equals to we have negative. So let's discuss about reference angle. What is the use of reference angle? 
Okay, so reference angle, let the theta be an angle in standard position. This reference angle is an acute, we have angle theta or theta prime formed by terminal side theta and then at the horizontal axis, which is the, we have the x-axis, right? So it says that the values of the trigonometric function of angles greater than 90 or less than 0, okay, can be determined by their values at corresponding acute angles. We have the 30, 60, and 45 angles, right? For that one, we can know what are the values of, we have what are the values of sine, cosine, and tangent. If you will remember in the units of circle, you will remember what are the values of we have 30, 60, and 45 degrees. So these are the reference we have angles. So in quadrant number two, you will use this theta because given theta is this one more than 90 degrees but less than 180. So therefore, if it is less than 180 but more than 90, so you will use now 180 degrees minus the given theta. For third quadrant, it is more than 180 but less than 270. So therefore, you will use now the given theta minus 180 degrees so that you can get this reference angle. Okay, and then for we have for the fourth quadrant. Okay, so for the fourth quadrant, we will have now 360 minus the given theta. So you will have your reference angle. So therefore, in every given theta, there will always be a reference angle. And that reference angle will give us 30, 60, and 45 degrees. Okay? Let's try some examples. So, for example, here, theta given is equal to 300 degrees. So, which quadrant is 300 degrees? You can pause the video so that you can see which quadrant is 300 degrees. So, therefore, it is in the fourth quadrant because first quadrant is, okay, the first quadrant. You can have now as this one so that we will try to review everything first so in the first quadrant okay so we have 0 pi over 2 we have pi and then we have 3 pi over 2 and then you go back to 0 and 2 pi so if you hate radiant form so you will have 0 this one is 90 degrees this one is equal to 180 degrees. This one is equal to 270 degrees. So therefore, 300 is in between 272 to 2 pi. Okay, so therefore, it is in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, how will you solve the fourth quadrant? Okay, for fourth quadrant, you will have now, so because it lies in the fourth quadrant, so the angle makes the axis is 360 minus the 300. So what will be our reference angle? Our reference angle now is equals to 60 degrees. So find, we have find sine, cosine, and tangent using, we have 60 degrees. You can plug in your calculator or if you remember what is the, what is the, we have the units of the circle, it's easy for you to determine what is sine, cosine, and tangent 60 degrees. So pi, uh, given a number, 2 or letter B is 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 is given as radian. It is in radian form. So therefore you will have now to, to convert it into degree form. If you want to convert it to degree form, you just multiply this one by 180 over 5. So you can have now as, okay, so 2.3 times 180 over 5 because this one is in given in the radiant form, okay? So, but when you're going to base your answer in the quadrant, so you will have 0, pi over 2, you have pi, and then you will have 3 pi over 2, which means this one is approximately, we have 3.14 to the value of pi. So this one will makes us, says here, it will makes us, we have 1.7. So this one is 1.7. 1.5708 so therefore 2.3 is between second quadrant or we have between pi over 2 and 3 so therefore the degree is here okay if you want to find what is the exact degree convert it into we have 2.3 times 180 over 5 which makes us 
Okay, so we'll try how much is that. So 2.3 times 180 divide by, we have pi, so therefore you will get exactly 131 degrees. So therefore the given theta is equals to 131, we have degrees. So this one will not make us the, uh, will not give us the special triangle, which is 30, 60, and 45 degrees. Okay, so let's go to letter we have C. For letter C, we have determined we have that 135, 135 and the whole terminal with 225, which lies in quadrant number 3. So the reference angle is 45 degrees. So for 45 degrees, we can see already what is the value of 45 degrees, right? So let's try some example. Okay, so let's try some example. Okay, let's try some. We have example finding the reference angle. Let's say we have given theta is equals to 240 degrees. So looking at the diagram, okay, looking at the diagram, so you will have now which quadrant is 240. So 240 is in between 180 degrees and 200, we have 70 degrees. So it's in quadrant number, we have quadrant number 3. Therefore, what you're going to do in quadrant number 3, theta given, minus we have the 240 degrees, okay? So therefore, you will have now, okay, so we have, okay, so we have 240 degrees, I mean, minus we have 180. So therefore, you will get now equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, your reference angle here, your reference angle is equal to 60 degrees, okay? So another example, let's say we have, okay, so let's say we have a negative value. For example, we have theta given is equal to negative pi over 4. Pi over 4 is also equal to, we have negative 45. So therefore, when you're going to get a negative value, so that is from clockwise, okay, so you will do this one now will be your zero, so zero. This one will become negative 90. This one will become negative 180. And this, this one will become negative 270. So therefore, negative 45 is here. Okay, this one is negative pi over, we have pi over four. But if you want to make it as positive, you're going to add by 360, which means that is equal to 300, we have 15 degrees. So 315 degrees is also equal to 45 degrees. From here to the positive side, so that is given equals to 315 degrees. Okay, so therefore you will get the same result. Okay, another one. Let's say we have, last example, let's say we have 165. Theta given, theta given is equal to 165. So 165 is less than 180 and more than 900. We have 90, so therefore it is in quadrant number 2. Quadrant number 2 is equal to 180 minus 165 degrees. Okay, so that will give us equal to, how much is that? We have 15 degrees, right? So therefore, the result is 15 degrees. So if you have questions and clarification, please notify or try to subscribe the channel so that you will get notified every time. Thank you so much and God.